What is going on everybody? In this video we will be going over the championship matchup from the B-Dubs Bowl 2 tournament between Young Kiv and Skimbo and specifically talking about just how close Kiv was to winning this tournament. If you guys watch the game uh, you know it came down to the wire. Very very close game and after watching it I really feel like Kiv probably should have won it. I mean, both obviously amazing players. Uh, Skimbo has been the best player all year. Kiv, in my opinion, might have a good argument for being the second most consistent player all year uh, to Skimbo. And so definitely a great matchup between two great players in this game. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First time right here, a third and five for Kiv on offense with the Titans uniforms against Skimbo on defense wearing uh, the Patriots. Down to Skimbo's 12-yard line, a little over two minutes left in the first quarter. I'm going to go ahead and roll the tape and see how this play unfolds right here. So Skimbo in a dollar look. Kiv goes with the inside motion out of gun bunch to the right. Now, uh, this inside motion, especially in the red zone, uh, usually screams uh, some form of you know corner strike to your opponent. So usually you see like a corner route right here. You see this deep dig going over the middle. You have a flat route by your tight end, and then on the left side, you have the table route and then the C route combo on that left side. So uh, most people are able to kind of fit in this corner route right here. Uh, it's very tough for a computer defender uh, to be able to defend that route, so a lot of people have to use it. But the thing is, this setup has become so popular over the year. Uh, it's really, uh, I mean, everybody knows about it. So whenever somebody sees that motion, that's going to be the first thing they're expecting is that corner out. And you're going to see that's exactly what Skimbo is expecting. He's all over it. But the beauty of it is right here, as you can see, Kiv actually puts him on an in route. So this was a mix-up that Joke was going for a lot in the Madden 17 Championship Tournament, where he would alternate between having him on an in route and a corner route in it mixes up the user because you can see Skimbo's user is 100% expecting that corner out right there. He has run himself out of the play right there. Kev, a ton of time in the pocket. Now Skimbo does have a QB spy right there that's going to do a good job of taking away that end route. As you can see right there, Skimbo trying to recover with his user. His user is really in no man's land. But right here, Kev goes, you can see he's going to playmaker. I believe this is DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, back across the field as you can see uh, he saw that he wasn't really going to get anything on that side of the field with the in route so he users or playmakers rather uh, Hopkins back across the field and you can see Skimbo's user is just all over the place in this play constantly over pursuing right there he actually dives on the ground so in this case I think this was just a complete outplay by Kiv right here on a crucial third and five situation Kiv rolls out Simbo correct or Skimbo correctly sends the spy but right here you see Kiv actually stops sets his feet does everything right in my opinion and throws it uh, to DeAndre Hopkins coming back across on the in route and Cam Newton just sails it behind him Hopkins doesn't even make an attempt to catch the ball and really Kiv misses out on a walk-in touchdown right there and has to settle for three so uh, that's kind of the first case right there where you say I ouch if you're young Kiv uh, that definitely should have been a touchdown he definitely outplayed Skimbo on that play in my opinion and instead had to settle for three instead of seven. So that's a four-point swing right here. So next drive, Skimbo driving down the field on Kiv at the 29-yard line, second and 10, gun bunch to the left for Skimbo. Nickel flipped for Kiv. You see that nickel back on the right representing a possibly a nickel blitz off that right edge. And so you're going to see right here at the snap of the ball, Skimbo goes. Looks like a standard corner strike setup right here for Skimbo. You can see table route. You see a C route right there, and then it looks like a standard flat route, streak route, and then one of these guys is going to run a corner route right here. So simple three-man flood on the left, two-man flood on the right, reading the flat zone defenders. Now what you're going to see here, Kiv actually does a great job, peels off, Skimbo throws this ball, or tries to actually, uh, this guy wasn't even on a streak route, maybe Skimbo thought he was, I'm not sure uh, what this read was, but Skimbo had this guy on an in route right there. And he actually throws it. I don't know if he expected uh, that defender uh, that's all over him, this defender right here, to you know jump out to that corner route. But that's not what ended up happening. He ended up sitting on the in route. Plus, Kiv's user is sitting uh, right there, you know, right here. So bracketed in route, Skimbo kind of makes a Stevie Wonder read, throws it right to Kiv. Kiv in perfect position to make a pick. I know he was on a D lineman, so you can't say, well, he's, he's got the greatest hands ever. He doesn't. But most of the time, you will get that interception, and Kiv ends up dropping one that was thrown right to his chest. So 
that's kind of another instance of, you know, Kiv should have scored a touchdown on the first drive and then second drive should have gotten a pick from Skimbo, but kind of unlucky there. So moving on later into the game, Kiv up 10 to 7 on Skimbo. Skimbo gun bunch to the left here. And this play wasn't really Kiv getting unlucky, but rather Kiv kind of making a mental error on defense. So gun bunch left third and seven. So big down here to try and keep Skimbo's drive alive. And what you're going to see, as you see the play art right there, uh, corner strike set up from Skimbo. Uh, Skimbo wisely this time doesn't throw the in route that's covered over the middle of the field immediately. He actually rolls out. Kiv tries to send some stuff off the right edge, but Skimbo has forever and a day in the pocket to throw. And really, uh, what you're going to see here is Kiv never sent the spy. And that was kind of the thing. Kiv actually clicked on to him. And, and that's kind of where the mental error comes from here, in my opinion, uh, for young Kiv, as you're going to see. If we can roll back a little bit further than that moment. Okay, we're going to see the snap. So Skimbo dropping back, rolling, rolling, rolling. Like Once Skimbo gets outside of his left tackle, Kiv should probably just go ahead and send that spy right there. Uh, this guy should come crashing down and basically put a clock on Skimbo's quarterback and say, okay, you have two seconds to throw the ball or else you're going to get hit and sacked. So kind of a mental error right here. You can see how long Skimbo has. Kiv never sending the spy, never sending the spy, never sending the spy. Uh, Skimbo's receiver bounces off the sideline and comes back over the middle of the field. Skimbo very patient in the pocket. That's one of the things that makes him so great. Very disciplined. It's rare to get Skimbo to make a mistake. Um, especially, I mean, that's why kind of that in route on the play before that I showed you guys uh, was a surprise that Skimbo made such a bad read. Usually that's not like him at all. So right here, Kiv never sends a spy and it lets uh, Skimbo have a lot of time. Jerry Rice bounces off the sideline for about a 25 yard gain to keep that drive alive. And I believe Skimbo ends up scoring a touchdown to go up 14 to 10. So kind of a mental error right there from Kiv could have potentially stopped the drive from Skimbo if he had sent that spy. So right here, third and five, second half now, Skimbo up 14-10, another big down, Skimbo in his own territory, third down, so Kiv got to make a stop right here. You're going to see similar setup, right? Nickel on defense for Kiv, gun bunch to the left for Skimbo, and I'm not sure what you're going to see here. I'll just go ahead and let you guys see how the play unfolds, but snap the ball, you can see the run commit come through for young Kiv. Look how far up all of his defenders are. Everybody just instantly crashed in. And Skimbo uh, went with, I believe this might have been a Z spot set up here. So he might have had a streak, a motion out, delayed slant, a route out the backfield, and then a post route and a drag route going over the middle right here from uh, his tight end. But uh, regardless of the route combo, if you run commit and your opponent's in gun bunch with a streak on the field, it's going to be a touchdown unless uh, your, their quarterback gets a huge overthrow. And it actually wasn't Z spot. It looked like corner strike right there as I saw the right guy run a C route, but Either way, Pryor was on a streak, and he ends up walking in for a touchdown, giving Skimbo a free seven points. Now, I don't think that was a purposeful. I'm going to make the assumption that wasn't on purpose for Kiv uh, to, to run commit right there. I don't see why you would on a third and five situation against a player like Skimbo, who really does not run the ball very much at all. Like He'll run it occasionally, more so in the red zone than anywhere else. Uh, but on third and five, that's a re it's either an accidental run commit or it's you're tr he was trying to make a really, really, really hard read on what Skimbo wanted to do right there. Either way, it ended up costing him, but I think it was accidental if I had to put money on it. So right here, uh, Kiv actually clawed his way back, scored a touchdown, went for two down three now. So 21-18, Skimbo threatening once again, though, first and goal at the seven. And I'm not going to be unbiased here. This is a play where Skimbo actually gets the short end of the stick. He goes to verticals, and this is what makes this play so tough, right? Everybody's focused on that Randy Moss route all the way to the sideline. You can see at the snap of the ball, Kiv has two guys manned up on Randy Moss running out to him. Everybody concerned about that high point wheel route, and it lets this route right here by, I believe that's Jimmy Graham that Skimbo has at tight end, a sneak into the back of the end zone for what should have been a wide open touchdown here, but Skimbo gets an unlucky overthrow on what should have put him up 21-18, or 28-18 rather, put him up by 10 points a touchdown in a field goal, which basically would have put the game out of reach. Two possession game would have been really hard for Kiv to come back. Either way, Skimbo ends up having to settle for three as Kiv makes a nice goal line stand. 
And so uh, that makes it 24-18. So Kiv driving down the field, down six, scores a touchdown, gets the extra point, and he wins the game essentially right here. Second and goal at the five. Ace twins, single back ace twins for Kiv. Uh, Skimbo in a 3-4, you got to be thinking probably cover four here. Uh, if you are Skimbo, a lot of pay players like to run cover four in the red zone because it is the best uh, run-stopping defense and still plays the pass pretty well. So and that's what I would expect if I were Kiv right here. Kiv goes HB dive, breaks the tackle from Skimbo's user in the backfield, shrugs it off. I believe that CJ Procise uh, shrugs off Skimbo's tackler. Has to just walk into the end zone here. Literally could have crawled into the end zone. Kiv hit, must have accidentally hit a button. I believe that's the get skinny button. And I'm not even sure what button that is. I think it might be RB or LB. But either way, Kiv accidentally hits a button. Um, Procise basically ducks his shoulder and turns you know, horizontally to the end zone. And Joey Bosa comes in from behind, gets in a tackle battle, and wins the tackle battle and brings him down at the one. So Kiv just went from a walk-in touchdown to now he's down at the one, third and goal with, uh, you know, still three timeouts, one yard to get. But obviously you, you want to score a touchdown right there when it was pretty much free. So accidental button input for young Kiv right there ends up costing him. Now, third and goal at the one, Kiv goal line now, Skimbo in a 4-4. looks like QB sneak D here, and you're just going to see. Uh, kind of how this happens here. Kiv goes, flips the play to the left. Skimbo rebase aligns to bring his guys out. Kiv trying to throw him off with some playmakers. Goes for the dive on the QB sneak and ends up fumbling. Skimbo recovers and gets the touchback. And so that brings it out to the 20. And now Skimbo is able to basically just run the clock out. So I know over that video, there was a, probably about four or five, maybe six different times that Kiv seemed like he got pretty unlucky a couple times it was user error uh, you can't really call you know the button input on the you know walk-in touchdown unlucky uh that was just user error same thing with the not sending the spy le and keeping skimbo's drive alive uh, that was also user error in my opinion from kiv but he did overthrow a touchdown as did skimbo uh, kiv also dropped that interception and right there fumbles at the one yard line on a qb sneak with Cam Newton, who probably has the best carry rating in the game for quarterback. So pretty unfortunate there. Still a heck of a game by both players, not taking anything away from Skimbo. I was just kind of pointing out some things that I think could have easily gone the other way. And if they had, it definitely could have ended up with a different outcome at the end of the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely let me know, comment what you guys thought of this game, what you guys thought of the tournament. Uh, let me know what I can do better for future videos. And last but not least, guys, uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video. So hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, take it easy.